What's up fam and welcome back to the channel for another video. So today we're going to be taking a look at some very small, compact, and surprisingly great sounding desktop speakers from a company called Edifier. So if you aren't familiar with this company, and to be honest, I wasn't really super familiar with them either, they are a manufacturer of many types of speakers including portables, bookshelf style, computer style, TV and home theater, and even a bunch of headphone styles as well. After seeing this, I was very excited to try these out and see if they're as good as the website suggests they are. But are they? Well, stick around to find out. Let's go. All right guys, so a couple of you have brought this to my attention about URCD key and you are correct. There is a bit of an issue on their website with the payment options. So what you're gonna have to do is go down to the bottom right where you see their customer service window and you'll have to purchase the Windows 10 Pro OEM key from that link that you see in there and use that promo code that they give you. My promo code will not work for this. And once you check out, you'll notice everything works just fine. I know the little link for it looks kind of funky, but it does work. Uh, they're just encountering a little bit of a payment issue with the US right now. So that's probably why that's happening. So hopefully this helps you guys out and hopefully you are able to use the ad still and get your keys like you wanted. All right, so hopping right into this, the G2000 wireless subwoofer stereo speakers feature a hi-fi 2.5 inch full frequency unit, composite fiber sound basin with shield reflector cone and independent power supply that provides eight watts plus eight watts of continuous undistorted power with a peak value of up to 16 watts plus 16 watts. The G2000s also feature three preset EQs that you can toggle on the side of the unit, including game, movie, and music mode. And there's no software you have to download to access these either. They are just uh, preset right into the speakers. So unfortunately that means no really adjusting those EQs like other things we reviewed on the channel. But for speakers like these, I don't really think many people will be doing that unless you run these through a sound card like I have in my system back there. In which that case, you would just use your sound card software to tweak your EQ anyway. Now for the most important feature, the RGB. These little guys have 12 different lighting effects that you can toggle on the side of the unit to make them look really cool with your setup. And they even feature these little like light bars on the back of the unit that uh, I assume are to cast a bit of light like behind your setup, kind of like my LED strips back there do. And I think that's a really nice touch that they added. Speaking of nice touches that they added to these speakers, almost everything from turning them on or off, connecting them to your device, to choosing different presets are all sound indicated through the speakers and this is something I really appreciate. So you actually know when you make a selection and it gives you a little tone to let you know about it. So give this a listen. USB input, aux input, Bluetooth input, all right, now let's get into the side button functions and the rear I.O. of the G2000s. Starting with the buttons on the right side of the speaker, you have the on off button that also doubles as the connection button for the different device outputs. You have your volume up or down rocker in the middle and the third button is the mode switch button, uh, which controls the different EQ modes. And then it also doubles as the RGB color cycle button if you press it and hold it just like the first button. Uh, I found all of the functions to be very intuitive and easy to use. Now let's move to the back of the speaker and reveal a few of the I.O. options that you have back there. So starting from the left, you have your USB connection, an auxiliary port for the included 3.5 millimeter cable to run to something like a sound card or to just simply like plug in your phone and play the old game of pass the aux cord with your friends. And next we have a sub out port so you can actually connect these to an external subwoofer if you want to really crank that bass up. And last we have the DC charging port that you use to plug the speakers into their included power supply. Now I know you're probably wondering what these things sound like, so let's connect to my phone, set them up to the music EQ really quick, and listen to a couple of types of music to get a feel for them. I know we're acting stupid.
Now it's cool that you can play your music through your phone with the G2000s, but what do they sound like hooked up to a computer to be used for gaming? I was able to seamlessly connect these to my Asus ROG laptop via Bluetooth and use these as an awesome accent for a mobile gaming experience. I felt like the experience sounded really awesome with the game EQ, and I had a very enjoyable experience playing some games with these speakers since I usually always game with a headset on. So what are these really best used for? Um, do I think that these are meant to like take the place of a full size, you know, six or seven piece virtual 7.1 surround sound system? Absolutely not. You know, with the size of these speakers, they just wouldn't really be able to compete with a system of that caliber and size. What I do think they're really great for is someone looking to get their first pair of speakers for the occasional gaming session like without headphones, as these do a really great job of reproducing game sound for their size. And I also think these make one of the best companions to a laptop setup as they are small, compact and look really clean next to a mobile setup. Since most laptops have Bluetooth built in usually, you can also ditch the USB cable and save one of your ports for your other peripherals or hard drives as well. And now I didn't really try to put them next to my main setup back here because they're honestly way too small and would kind of look ridiculous right now. But uh, if I was in some serious pinch for external audio, I actually don't really think they would do too bad and I could hook up these to my main setup back there and I think they'd be just fine if I needed it. So something that I've been using these for that I did not expect really is actually using these on my back porch area as a little music setup next to my outdoor fireplace and grill. Now this is not advertised anywhere in their marketing and uh, trust me, they don't market these as like being, you know, outdoor or uh, even waterproof or anything like that. But I just gave it a try and they ended up working fantastically for it. Um, and I've had it, you know, a couple of people over and they were actually really happy with how these sounded and the fact that they light up and all that was really cool and it gave my uh, outdoor setup a really nice accent as well. All right, so tell me what you all think of these speakers down in the comments and if you'd consider even picking up a pair for your own setup. And as always, the purchase link will be down in the description as well. Now let's move on over to family time. All right, so today's question from the Visuals fam comes from Fintastic, and they say, I need your help. I bought a $40 pack of Nerd or Die, and I cannot figure out how to get it into OBS. I've been trying for hours. Okay, well first, just calm down, everything's okay. So the first page I'd send you to is their installation page, which gives you a step-by-step -step instruction guide on how to import these assets into OBS. And now if that still isn't working for you and you already tried that, never fear. I will be coming out with a new video very soon on how to import custom stream pack templates and presets into OBS and get them set up like I have on my own stream setup back there. So if you don't wanna miss out on that, make sure you like this video. That that way I know you want to see that video get made and then go ahead and get subscribed with notifications on so that you will always know when that video comes out and it will be going live. Anyways, that's going to be it for me today, everyone. Take care and have an awesome day. Later.